If you're like every other UI UX designer out there, you start your project with a grid system. Unless, of course, you are me. I don't use grids, and I'm gonna show you what I do instead of using grids, but for now, I wanna talk about the three reasons why I personally don't use grid systems in my UI UX design projects. First, I think they're unnecessary. I'm sure you've heard the term before, pixel perfection, which is a great thing to strive for, but you don't need pixel perfection on a mock-up. What is the point of pixel perfection of a mock-up when your users aren't actually using said mock-up? They don't use the mock-up. That's for you and the stakeholders. The users use the product on their phones or their laptops, right, or their desktops. They don't use your Figma prototype, so your Figma prototype doesn't have to be pixel perfection. Pixel perfection is achieved in CSS when you attach classes and necessary CSS properties, and that will automatically make sure everything is in perfect alignment and also even white space. Now, the second reason I don't use grid systems is because they just slow me down. I know 22 seconds to set one up, not a huge deal, but how else am I gonna find time to watch that stupid pointless Netflix documentary later on? But to be serious, I want to remove as many unnecessary steps from the process as possible, and it makes my life way easier when I don't have to worry about adhering to all these columns and these vertical grid systems. Now, the third reason, and perhaps one of the most important, is because they place upon me what I feel are unnecessary constraints. So a constraint is anything that just limits your freedom and your creative ability to do what you want. If I want to move this thing right here, well, it falls in the middle of the column, and now it's kind of throwing things off, right? I would rather just be able to make these decisions without having these visual templates that are requiring me and forcing me to design in a certain behavior. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Well, what if my dev uses a CSS grid system? Well, who cares? Your dev can't actually approximate based on what is happening here with this column and this column. Remember, pixel perfection doesn't need to be achieved during the mock-up stage. If this particular column happens to be 20 pixels wider than what you've designed for, it's not a huge deal in like 99% of the cases. So what is it that I do? Well, ironically enough, I do actually start with a grid, but it's a one column grid, and that is just to establish equal white space on the very left and the very right of the design. So I could quickly toggle that on and off. Outside of that, I don't use grids for anything else, but I do use this one feature that perhaps none of you have ever seen. They're called guides. They're the live guides that when you pick up an object and you move it over here, it's going to show you if you're in alignment based on other adjacent elements. This will help ensure that you have nice, perfect alignment vertically and horizontally, or columns versus rows. And then also, it will show you if you have equal white space based on these values right here. And there you go. That's how you ensure things are consistent across your design. Now, some other people also take the red little rectangle method, and they'll take this and replicate it over here just to make sure things are equal. But nonetheless, I don't think there's any need to use a grid system when it really just slows you down. These things tend to get in the way of my process when really I just want to execute things as fast as possible with as much creative freedom as possible as well. It's always important though, you have to mind your UI design fundamentals, visual hierarchy, color contrast, topography, alignment, white space. These things, as long as you get them correct, you don't have to worry about these grid systems. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Am I crazy? I don't know, I might be. I might get crucified for this position. I don't know. Anyhow, let me know, subscribe up, check out designcourse.com, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.